us there is a dimension of wisdom that only silence can bring meditation great leaders meditate you sit down thank you there's got to be a way out thank you holy spirit and you sit quietly do you know sometimes i do this from morning till night meditating like a fool sometimes i just kneel down in front of my chair and put my head down i'm waiting waiting and the answer will never come till sometimes late in the night the spirit of wisdom comes majestically doesn't come in a rush and foolishly and carelessly if you don't have patience forget about it because you will not come sometimes you finish all of those things you are praying in the night you just wake up to stretch a little and fire falls from heaven and you sit down this is it this is it <laughs> it will break every chain break every chain break every chain it will break every chain break every chain break every chain it's the wisdom of god working in your life oh i fell down the other day when you said receive wisdom do you meditate no sir then the spirit of wisdom may be there but you're not aligning sufficiently that's why many men of god don't have messages to preach because they write a list of messages and preach one by one and they finish the 35th one and the year is not even up to half the year is not halfway gone and you wonder what do i do inspiration comes in the place of meditation never forget what does it mean to meditate to ponder ponder not just on anything to ponder on truth ponder on the word of god not just to mutter but to ponder to think it's called imagination it's not like imagination it is called imagination the creation of images by the spirit Genesis 11 before Nimrod began to build he called the people and they began to meditate meditation is not just sitting down under a tree that's a wonderful um, um, what they call it a wonderful way of stimulating meditation but meditation is where your mind is called to a point where it is stimulated to begin to create creativity is a product of meditation let me tell you how the spirit of wisdom works the spirit of wisdom is a creative spirit is the first dimension of the holy spirit we see in genesis chapter one creation the spirit of wisdom creates it creates solutions see what i'm teaching you is 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 a jackpot to your success in life if you understand it creation the solution to every problem you seek already exists in Christ. But there is a system of transporting it from the realm of the spirit. It is called creation. It is called the power of imagination. Where you give the Holy Spirit your mind like a woman's womb and you allow him to brood upon it. That's what happens in meditation. You offer like a wife gives her womb over to her husband to be implanted with a seed that's what happens many of us are not creators creation is not just by speaking it is out of the abundance of the heart when that incubation has happened then your speaking is among the process that makes it manifest not many people will teach you this thing I'm teaching you the spirit of wisdom will make your life a wonder if you know how it works watch Jesus this woman was caught in adultery the very act of it this is a kind of question where both yes and no would chain you and Jesus kept quiet and was writing the spirit of wisdom immediately the spirit of wisdom landed then he spoke he who does not have sin should cast the first stone and then the Bible says his speech affected the oldest first you see you see how powerful wisdom is because the youngest can drop it and the oldest will say, are, you, are you stupid pick that stone then he started with the oldest if the oldest has dropped the stone what do you do as the youngest 
The miracle is not in dropping the stone, it's who dropped it first. The oldest dropped it down to the last person. Woman, where are your accusers? Go. Neither do I condemn you. This is the spirit of wisdom. It is the spirit of wisdom that suggested the strategy for the salvation of men. Hmm. That instead of everybody dying, let's make a caricature out of Satan. It's called the hidden wisdom. Let one man come and let the whole world enter in him. Then let him die. So that one man came and Satan kept looking for him. At a point, the Holy Ghost restrained his hand and Satan began to prevail. And Satan manipulated men to kill Jesus. And he ran to hell. He said, demons, did you watch what happened? I can't believe it. I killed Jesus. And to his shock, he saw Jesus in hell. And he said, no, this is a joke. You can't be in hell. Say, yes, I'm here. Because when you kill sinners, they go to hell. And so I died sin and here I am in hell. Give me the keys. <sighs> Give me the keys. Give me the keys. Give me the keys. And when the keys were given to him, he dislodged principalities and powers, made a public show of them. And then he not only resurrected, he resurrected with many who had died. They were in the streets of Jerusalem. Everybody saw him. And he said, guys, this is it. You will, um, you will go to heaven, but I have to be the firstborn among the resurrected. So let me go to heaven quickly. I'll come back and then you guys will go. And he went to heaven, poured his blood according to Hebrews in the tabernacle, became the high priest, and then he returned. The guys went and he went to the disciples. All here and back. All power in heaven. He disarmed Satan not through power, through wisdom. Are we together? Listen, let me teach you something. I walk in the anointing. Many results are not dependent on power, force. Wisdom is really what brings dominion. Because the realm of the spirit is a legal realm. You engage through knowledge. Not just by trying to force things. It's the ministry of the angels to do that. They are the enforcers of the word of God. They confirm the word of the servant, but wisdom is solution. That's why sometimes you see me ministering to people and you see me doing stupid things. I can hold somebody's hand and the Holy Spirit can say, Let that person shout Jesus. And the person just shout Jesus, and then the person is falling. And you are watching me too. I'm watching. I'm as shocked as you. We're all watching the wisdom of the Spirit. You will now get the formula and run to one small meeting and hold somebody's hand and tell the person to shout Jesus and the person shouts and looks at Jesus I've done it they do it again because it was just copying this is one of the big mistake of we young ministers we copy acts without the spirit that brought them are we together yes meditation this is where many of us have missed it that you sit before the Lord. What's that song? Brooding over every darkness. You are called. Listen. Light to shine from dark. How can light come out of darkness? That's what the Bible said. It said God who has commanded light to come out of darkness. That means the answer is right there with you. In your chaos, the light. The raw material sit down in that situation and meditate and let creation begin to happen when you plant corn the ugliness of the soil and it is still where the new shoot comes out of it's a principle he's brooding over every darkness you are causing lights to shine in the darkness you are brooding over all my darkness you are causing light to shine from the so in the midst of that financial hardship sit down there that's when creation happens you're not going to run away from the challenge and get a solution somewhere sit in it by the rivers of babylon 
in the midst of the captivity i sat down there and a vision was open to me we run away from challenges the miracle is right there sit down there's got to be a way lord my wife you no know, i prayed on there's got to be a way and all of a sudden you allow him to impregnate your mind brothers and sisters i can tell you this your life will be a wonder first to you if you practice this it will be as if you are holding a tab or a genie somewhere that you are winding many of us don't sit down jobless people don't sit down to allow creation happen they just loiter around sir can you give me a job and god is saying i want to speak to you no oh god I'm, I'm, i mean I'm, I'm, i want to marry they said I, I can't marry because i don't have a job me i want to and god says, sit down now if we can take half the time we spend loitering around to sit down not worrying just find the back of one tree in the night and sit down when other people are snoring their destinies you sit quietly there's got to be a way to my life lord everything is not working nine prayer requests since last year nine of them not answered you are not a liar jesus speak to me and you are just playing you know i told i get who did i give an assignment was it us a school of ministry students no, sometimes i don't know the difference but do it still do it go and play worship you don't just sit down and beds are just making noise worship doesn't distract you it steals your spirit and then you sit down sometimes for hours the flesh will never allow you sit down this flesh you see once you sit down you just start thinking oh, but that lady is really beautiful you see don't stop still sit down there God, but my father you know to be honest do you know that i didn't have a good upbringing don't worry this is the flesh trying to distract something a time will come your flesh will be frustrated it will give up it's one of the benefits of fasting the flesh is empowered by the health of your body it takes advantage of food so when when food is minimal it it alters the interruption of the flesh yes sir it does ultimately leading to boosting your faith but that's how it works and you sit down lord there has to be a way and the lord sits down and says but you know you have hundred thousand and then in scripture just opens up and now this is god the spirit of wisdom coming to you now and looks at it and says except a corn falls in the ground and the lord can speak to you and say that hundred thousand that is your last money i'm not saying do it go and sow it you are not doing donation just thinking about it and you carry yourself as if you are going to go and die and sow it somewhere the moment you do that the same spirit that spoke to you now goes to your uncle who doesn't like you and say remember i've been telling you you will bless somebody it's time now it's janet it's this person and then your uncle calls you wisdom justified by her children and you are surprised and god says keep trusting me like this for your life and then you sit down and you find out let me tell you how god forces the spirit of wisdom to work in you sometimes he will close the door of any physical helper in your life pain is a very good way of activating wisdom some of us until you go through certain levels of pain wisdom will never work in your life it's not all pain that is demonic hear what i'm telling you you always receive hundred hundred thousand from your father so every time you are saying the wisdom of god you say yes but what you are mean is the money is coming and then your father says well um i had a dream and i didn't see myself giving you money for five months say what are you saying say exactly that um a voice spoke to me and that's the voice that has been speaking to me that i got rich that you are benefiting from the same voice said i should leave you alone you may insult and get angry but after two weeks you sit down and in your anger you frown you frown you frown and then you just open a scripture anyhow lord help me and then you just see takes you to the story of the widow in zarephath what did she do you have been reading it because your stomach is full now you read it with your stomach empty then shall thy light break forth and you see something you never saw ah god
God commanded a woman, but she was not aware she was commanded. But the Bible says God already commanded her. Could it, could it be that there was something she was not receiving? Because God told Elijah, I've commanded her. Whether she, the, the message arrived to her or not, is another thing. But me, I've commanded her. But when Elijah arrived, it didn't look like she was aware. I expect her to say, oh, you are the one. You're welcome. Come in. I mean, the loaf is there. The man said, I'm about to die. She would have died. Not hearing the command or seeing the prophet. The same way God would say, I've answered this person. And you look at the person's life and the answer is not yet there. I meditate a lot. Creation happens in my life through meditation. I have explored the power of imagination. This is not some zodiac, Scientology, metaphysical thing. This is a principle. Listen to the advice that God gave Joshua. Chapter 1 and verse 8. Let's attempt to round up. He said, this book of the law, please give it to us, shall not depart from out of your mouth, but thou shalt meditate. I thought I was, do you know, I literally was seeing it. <laughs> Truly speaking, <laughs> you guys are delaying. Okay, this book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth. Listen, but thou shalt meditate therein meditate therein not meditate any other place you don't meditate on what you want you meditate on the word of god not just look at a newspaper and say hi again Boko Haram. and you are looking and you are thinking about a solution for your church it won't come that way are we together Thou shalt meditate during day and night. When you meditate, an information will come from it. Then you observe to do. And then your way becomes prosperous. You don't act first. You sit down and allow the creative force of God's wisdom come to your life. Lord, my wedding is five months. All we have is 100,000. The budget is 2.5. There's got to be a way out not hi god you sent me jesus talk to me my spirit is open i silence every voice of fear silence them first i silence every wicked voice that wants to make god look unfaithful in my life lord you are faithful and you are sitting down and the spirit of wisdom begins to move the spirit of wisdom can tell you to do anything it can just say call one person and you call the person and he says, I'm going to do a transfer. You will think it's 100,000. You will see 3 million. And God says, now it has come. Go and marry your wife. And other people will see you and say, you that I know. Abba, my brother. And you, you will quietly go back and give God glory. Ah, God, wisdom has covered for me. That's why you see some people whose testimony should be like your own. Based on the physical parameters you see, but their testimonies are a thousand times greater than yours. Wisdom build them out. Someone needs to receive this wisdom tonight. Because the depending on men forever, let God send them. Remember I told you all blessings come from God through men to you. But when you begin to depend on men, depending on men is addictive. It's addictive. Those men can even be your father and your mother. Many of us who have all this right conscious mentality. My father, you are the one that gave birth to me. You are 40 years, you are still saying it. And God may not cause what is happening in your family, but you will see it as a ready tool and push you out. And then you sit down. And then you worry and call it meditation. And God says, no, worry, I've stopped you from doing that. But you sit down and you meditate let me admit to you that you will not meditate one night and get the solution no i wish it were so sometimes it can happen but that's just god's mercy helping you to encourage you so that the day that it doesn't come with the speed you want you will know god has been faithful and you will stay there are people who stay for weeks weeks turn to months every multi-millionaire knows this thing i'm telling you that their result is not just based on what they do but based on the reality that has been altered in their minds and their perceptions it is true 
way before God blessed this ministry with these crowds I had captured it it's there do you believe what I've taught you tonight my, my prayer for you is not just that you finish a service today and say wow nice <clears throat> but that you go and sit down and say Lord I know I'm a prayer warrior but there is no time in silence to sit quietly wake up in the night and think Lord what is the next key what is the next step there are bills before me what is the next step this is the dimension we must step into as a ministry there has to be a way out don't say there is no way don't join satan saying there is no way is calling god a liar you open scripture no there is a way ah. light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord 